All right, hello and welcome back to another way better video. Today's video is a video that I've actually spent the past week doing some research on and trying things out myself on Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. So I eventually make this video and to give you guys the most original. <laughs> I say that, but it's just, to it's totally not true. That That's the thing about this video is there's a lot of things that is not original about it because I think there's some things that are just so universally cool. Before we even get into that, what we're doing today is the top five coolest ways to win. And when I say that, I don't mean like a deck type. I mean, someone could interpret it as that, but I think of cards that are like the win condition cards, cards that are going to get you the dub or that are going to determine how the matches or duel is going to go. So. As much as I'd love to tell you this is original, there's like two or three on here that I think almost everyone would agree upon. So I want to get the very obvious ones out, out of the way, right? Because that's just that's just what's going to happen. There's going to be that one or two, arguably three. I don't think so, but one or two universally agreed upon. The most universally agreed upon coolest way to win, in my opinion, that I've seen, I'm my opinion plus from what I've seen, I should say, needed to reword that from what i've seen and from the people i've talked to and from different opinions on the subreddit we have drone with police for the most obvious number one ever ba -ba 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 -bum. we have exodia i mean it's not gonna get more cool than this in my opinion just because it's like in the second episode ever is it the first episode or second episode ever of Yu-Gi-Oh? This is what everyone knows is like so badass if you can pull it off. If you have the right leg of the Forbidden One, left leg of the Forbidden One, right arm and left arm of the Forbidden One, in addition to this card in your hand, you win the duel and it is a badass animation. The last Exodia deck that was Master One was actually April 7th. So if you go to this deck right here, it's actually really cool to see this guy you know, try and make use of Exodia, the Forbidden One. What's really cool is that Exodia is getting new support soon. And the new support's actually pretty badass. Granted, the new support isn't revolved around actually having the five cards in your hand. It's it's revolved around just a whole deck in itself that is going to be pretty pretty cool and interesting. But my reasoning for this, for, for this being one of the coolest ways to win, being... By the way, it's it's not in any order, the top five. It's just these are top five amazing ways to win. It's not in any order. But this being one of them is because the show really set the tone. You know, the meme of Kaiba, you know, going, uh, whatever, whatnot. It, this this card, Yugi saying, Exodia. It kind of just set the tone when we were kids watching this. <laughs> and... It's just amazing. Honestly, if you if you pull this off, such such a cool way to win. I've lost to Exodia exactly one time. And when I did, I wasn't even salty. I was not upset. I just thought to myself, that's so fucking cool. You're so cool for that. So yeah, Exodia number one. Let's go on to number two. Okay, so number two here. This one's actually really weird because I'm going to show you a card and you're going to think, how is that cool? And then I'm going to explain it and you're going to be like, oh, interesting. Anyway... Number two, drum roll, please. We have da, 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 done Max C draw out. Now you see Max C and you're like, how this is not a win condition. You're right. But my cousin T, aka Dr. Legit Sauce, was dueling once. He activated Max C on the opponent's first turn. And I joke you not, not even messing with you. The dude had an anti-maxi deck to where all he does is special summon. All turn one, by the way, all he does is special summon so much to where if you activated maxi, he's going to draw you out that exact same turn and you lose. And oh my God, it was the coolest thing I ever seen. He showed me the replay. Now I can go on YouTube and try and find different stuff like that. If I find something, you'll see it and I'll edit it on here. If I don't, you're just gonna have to take my word for it. That was the, one of the coolest wins I think I've ever, ever seen. And Dr. Legit Sauce, I'm gonna tell you to watch this video. Please comment and, and also 
tell the people that it was it was really cool because I mean dude if you activate max C at worst you're really thinking that they're just gonna negate it and then maybe have a triple tactics at worst worst case scenario when you activate max C best case scenario it resolves and you get a draw well T Dr. Legit Sauce did ha have a new bureau in his deck he did get to it but he was this other guy was special summoning so much he eventually got a poly USA out on the field negated pretty much anything T could have that could stop it and it was just it was crazy bro literally special summoned so much T drew out and he had 40 cards in his deck 40 cards I believe he drew out and lost the duel because of he had nothing to draw Max C literally lost him the duel it's the coolest shit I've ever seen I hope I find a video that I can show something like that but if not you're gonna have to take my word for it it was it was it was so cool though okay number three this is another universal one in my opinion and a lot of people's opinion uh when I talked to Dr. Legit Sauce and asked him the one of the first two he said was one Exodia two he mentioned this one as well so yeah drum roll please for number three Bum. We have the Egyptian God cards. If you watch the anime of Yu-Gi-Oh, you know how hyped these cards were. I don't need to sit here and explain to you the effects of all of the God cards. I really don't need to do that. Do I want to? Honestly, kind of. But you got Slifer, the Winged Dragon of Raw, and Obelisk. The Winged Dragon, Dragon of Raw probably has the most support of all the God cards. Slifer and, and Obelisk. Mm. I would say in terms of uniqueness, Slifer is probably the most unique just because gaining a thousand attack and defense for each card in his hand. Although in terms of the most destructive, Winged Dragon of Raw of all these three is so destructive. You could do what me and T call raw dogging. <laughs> and it's, it's, I have it in some of my videos. You guys should check it out, but it's so cool these cards are so goddamn cool the animation for them as well i hope there's the animation for them on youtube and i'll show them to you guys gladly but these cards are so freaking cool and again if you watched Yu-Gi-Oh! season two and three and four basically but most more more so season two the the battle city arc these cards, when, when they got summoned, it was like the most epic shit in the world. So when you get to do it yourself, does not get more cool than that, to be honest with you. It, it really doesn't. Okay, number four. This one, I think is a bit unexpected. This is not universally agreed upon. This is me just finding a card. Uh, during one of the events, it was the fusion event. I was going through all fusion, all synchro, all exceeds monsters, and I was just trying to find like some cool ones because I thought to myself, why not? You know, I, I really want to do some epic shit in Master Duel. And I came across this card and I thought, this is badass. <laughs> this is badass. Drum roll, please. Ba -ba 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 but we have Time Wizard of Tomorrow. You need a Time Wizard plus one effect monster to fuse this guy once per turn. And I'm gonna have to say the effects for these cards, for this card, because not everyone knows the effect of this card. It's it's pretty random in the grand scheme of things right now in the current state of Master Duel. Anyway, once per turn, while you control this fusion summon card, you can toss a coin and call it. Destroy as many monsters on the field as possible. And if you do, inflict damage equal to half the total original attack of the destroyed face up monsters if you call the coin toss right your opponent takes the damage if you called it wrong you take the damage i've seen some decks of these where you literally feed your opponent like token monsters and then you have monsters on your side basically the coin toss will dictate who's gonna win and who's gonna lose that is so epic <laughs> in so many ways because it's like you're definitely at a disadvantage because typically when you get your full board set up, you're going to win 90 plus percent of the time. You're not risking a 50, 50 percent chance of your opponent outright just getting lucky and winning or you getting lucky and winning. 
you know, because if the other, you not only do you have to face the fact that once you get your ideal setup, you have to do a 50 50. When you don't get your setups, your opponent's going to win anyway. So you're definitely at a disadvantage. The deck isn't good. But goddamn, is it really cool? Because you could literally just be like, boom, I win based off of a coin toss. Or boom, you win because. I didn't call the coin toss right. Now, you don't have to put over 8,000 worth of damage on the board. Uh, you could just do significantly less, let's say half that, and the opponent, let's say, takes 4,000 damage. Maybe you have a burn deck going for you. I don't know. But the idea of Time Wizard of Tomorrow is so epic. I just had it included, included on this list. This one, I have never seen it pulled off in a legitimate duel. I have never really heard anyone talk about it. Again, during that Fusion Synchro Xyz event, I was going through a bunch of cards and this card was a normal card and I thought, dude, that's so cool. Now, you're not gonna pull it off in today's Yu-Gi-Oh! It's just ridiculously hard, but it's a literal win condition if you can pull it off. We have, I didn't even say drum roll, please, drum roll, please, the great double casted caster. Some of you might know this card. Some of you might not. A normal, sorry, a spellcaster, light, level eight, fusion card, two non-effect monsters. That's the part that is what makes me say this card is like, that's ridiculously hard to pull off. Two non-effect monsters in today's Yu-Gi-Oh is just not gonna happen. Anyway, gains attack equal to the combined original attack of any ritual, Fusion, Synchro, Xyz, or Link monsters used as fusion material for this card. This card can attack directly. Basically, if you can get Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon out with 4,500 attack, or if you can get Dragon Master Knight out with any other monster that can complete it to make it 8k, that's it. You can attack directly. The other person's screwed. Now, there's other ways you can do this. Like, there's, like, the kangaroo dude who has, like, 42. Kang... I don't know his name. Oh. Okay. I just type in Kanga and he pops up. Master of Oz. 4,200. Non-effect. Again, it has to be non-effect monsters. So, pretty much guys like Master of Oz and... You know. My point is, this is a literal win condition okay so this deck is actually utilizing it there's a lot of normal monsters but you're not gonna get 8k with these low amounts but it's like 4,000 plus attack indirectly anyway so yeah it, it's just a really cool card in my opinion the the great something i forgot the name already of it like i i've thought about how i could incorporate it into my dark magician deck because my my only non effect monsters are dark magician but it needs to be fusion, synchro, exceeds. So then I did a couple other things to try and make it work, but it's really hard to get this card to work, but it is really cool. If you can win like this, like if you can flat out win using this card, that is sick. There's not a lot of people, there's no one doing that. No one's doing that. Look at the deck stats. No one is doing that. So that would be sick. That's my top five coolest ways to win. All of it's subjective, of course. Also, I could just outright have missed a cool way to win that maybe you guys remembered or that you guys thought of. Let me know what you guys think uh, is one of your coolest ways to win in Yu-Gi-Oh. You heard my top five. If you guys want me to do another list, five more cool ways to win, I can gladly do that because I thought of a couple more other things. They just didn't make the cut. I thought these were a little cooler. Anyway, though, I greatly appreciate you guys for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe subscribe it goes a long way into building this community as always though this is all we've been different all we've been different and we out